This uh, beautiful alley of trees behind me is Corcus acutissima sawtooth oak in the group of Asian oaks. Uh, this is a beautiful low uh, branching oak. Now people really get excited about live oaks and the long, they go to places like Charleston, South Carolina and they see these wide branching oaks that are live oaks. Well, for us in East Tennessee, one of the best things we can do to replicate that look is use sawtooth or oak, Corcus acutis, excuse me, Corcus acutissima, the sawtooth oak. So Corcus acutissima, the sawtooth oak, all oaks are in the Fagaceae family, and they all have alternate leaf arrangement, and you can see that these are coming alternate off the stem. That's a good way to tell an oak between a maple. Maples all have, or acer all have, uh, opposite leaf arrangement, where oaks all have alternate leaf arrangement. This tree gets 40 to 60 foot high, can spread out 30 to 50 foot wide. In youth, it's very pyramidal, but then it opens up as it starts to mature. This is hardy from zone six through nine. It does have kind of a yellowish bronze fall color, but then the leaves uh, go to kind of a copper color. And one of the criticisms of this tree might be that the leaves tend to hang on uh, to the tree even through the winter months, uh, but it does also give it a little bit of interest. Uh, identifying oaks, you also want to see if you can find an acorn, and uh, the ca acorn caps, which are just starting to develop here on this example that I'm giving you right now. For sawtooth oak, uh, they're almost like a bad toupee. They've got this kind of uh, fuzzy nature to them, uh, kind of just like I said, like, like a, a bad hairdo on top of it. The buds uh, are triangular uh, and they're quite distinctive among some of the other oaks that you might be trying to identify. Uh, but, but look at the edges of the leaf. So this is sawtooth oak and you can definitely see why it's called sawtooth oak. Uh, these saw-like edges on the sides of the leaf. So I'm standing here next to really uh, one of the giants on our campus, campus at the University of Tennessee, uh, this giant Corcus acutissima sawtooth oak. I love the low branching nature of this tree. It adds uh, some major interest to this area of campus. As you can see, as this tree ages, you see deep furrows in the bark, and this plant will continue, uh, hopefully, to live a long life here on the University of Tennessee campus. I'm sure that this tree is in excess of 100 years old. Uh, but quite beautiful, low branching, uh, creates great shade. Uh, one, maybe another criticism is the quantity of mast uh, that this tree will produce. The acorns are, are not huge acorns, uh, but typically uh, the sawtooth oak produces quite a few of them. And so that is something to be considered when you think about planting this near a sidewalk. Here's a landscape tip, handsome, wide spreading, Clean foliage, shade or lawn tree should be used more in the south.